here's the footings. East end. Lots of metal. Let's carry on round south. Around the guest bedroom. Rebar. You'll notice that every 12 inch centers vertically. There's some deck pads. And there's a rebar. Another deck pad. Well lined. The block hose with a couple of well pipes in it. Conduit. Carrying on round. A lot of bracing. Step down. The bump out for the dining room. Full of metal. Some more bracing. Loads of metal. And an extra third. Third line of metal. Just there to uh, secure the rebar vertically. Just keep it all in line. See it fits in the fast wall blocks. A little bit dodgy. Oh, string line. So it's around the dining room and the kitchen will be through there where the sheet of plywood is. You'll see up there three pads. Three pads there, there, and there for uh, floor, floor beams. Carrying on round. Down the big rock. And three steps. Loads of metal. Another big uh, pad there for a post that goes over the edge of the rock. Now you'll see internal walls for a crawl space at that end. That divides the crawl space from the full height area, garage and corridor here. And then that'll go up the stairs there. And then that area is the garage. Let's carry on down. There's a little bit of metal in the boxes. Tied together and strapped. So, this is at the bottom of the stairs now, in the lower level. Going around the bump out, which is in the garage but below the master bedroom. Just turning around again, you'll see the, uh, the big box and there's sort of a bit of a wall there to just fill in the undercut on the big rock. If I just step inside. There's another buttress there, just to again secure that rock. Moving forward there, there's a, a main three foot square post pad. And that's the inside of the front wall under the entrance porch. So we go along drop down and that's where the garage doors are going to be. There's the old shed. Power's coming in here, 200 amp circuit. Back out again. So this is the bump out in the garage under the master bedroom again. We get to one of the outer deck pads. It looks like a spider crawling over a rock. There's a bit of an undercut in this rock, so I've uh, put a bit of metal in there. I'm going to put a wall up there to uh, make it secure. I think that's over the top but it keeps the engineer happy. So back round the corner. This is the corner of the garage now. I just put an extra little sticky out bit there just to put a bit more metal in just so I can use a uh, put a post there if I decide to for putting the beam from there to there. And coming on round the corner of the garage round there's some more deck pads, covered porch and then an outer deck pad. And look down the outer garage wall. It's quite well built up. Another pad. That's a rebar on 12 inch centers vertically. And it's 
several heights of rebar horizontally where needed. Some drainage, a couple of pipes for drainage, and there's the front of the garage. That's the last front deck pad this side. There's the shed. And there's the rebar cutter and bender, which is getting a bit of use. And that's the end of today's video.